Welcome to the Quarantune 2.0 registration orientation tutorial. So go ahead and watch through this video. It's really going to help you to prepare for registration. First things first, if you have had a chance to look at our workshop schedules, um, we've got some grids posted on that page. We also have workshop descriptions posted on that page, and we've got this nifty little worksheet for you to plan your, your schedule as well. Um, make sure if you're using the workshop descriptions to schedule your workshops, double check with the grid to make sure that the session number is correct because the grid is absolutely correct and we've had a few issues come in with this uh, descriptions worksheet. So make sure you're double checking all of your session times with the grid before and um, then adding them to your worksheet. We also have this workshop levels guide that you can take a look at and figure out where you fit best. We advise you to be open to looking at some workshops either one level above or below where you think you fit best. If there's something you're really interested in taking, don't let this guide prevent you from doing that. But know that this guide is what our instructors are going to be using when they're teaching their workshops. They're gonna teach them to these levels. So let's go back and take a look at um, the website. <laughs> As we go ahead and start registering, it's going to be a lot easier for you to do this from a tablet or a desktop, um, but you will be able to do it from your phone or your smartphone if you need to. Just having a bigger screen might make it a little bit easier. As you um, go into registration, if you have created an account, you don't need to create an account, but if you've created an account, um, you want to get yourself logged in, get your password handy, and keep it handy even after you've logged in. So log in before registration opens at 3 p.m. on July 26th, and then keep that password handy just in case your session times out and it asks you for your password before you check out. So I'm going to click register up here in the right hand corner, upper right hand corner, and it's going to take you to the registration portal. This looks a lot like it did last time. We've got some information we want you to read through real quick. Go check out the important disclosures. You've probably already done that by now. We also have the workshop levels guide here real convenient for you in case you um, need to access that. And all of the workshops, this is very self-explanatory, are organized by level, level one through five and non-specific. Same with mountain dulcimer down here. And then all of the other instrument workshops are gonna be under this link right here. So let's go ahead and just start adding some workshops to our cart. I'm going to go ahead and click on, let's look at Mountain Dulcimer Level 3 workshops. And all of these workshops are organized in chronological order, and these numbers correspond with the colors and the numbers up here in this key. So if you need a quick reference on what time a session is, you can just reference this at the top of your screen. So these pages start Friday session 1, 2, 3, going all the way through. I'm you can see them kind of coming in and I'll scroll through now we're into Saturday session six seven eight and so they're all in chronological order of Saturday coming in after Friday's workshops and let's start just adding some items to the cart just for the heck of it I recommend adding the items into your cart in the order of which you're, they're going to be taken so chronologically that'll make it easier for when you go to reference your um, order confirmation it'll basically be your schedule so let's just add this item to our cart I'm going to add it says it was added. I can go up. I had previously, I, I saw that I had seven items in my cart. Now I have eight items in my cart. If I accidentally click this twice, I still only have eight items in, in my cart. This is a new thing that they added for us, and it's going to prevent you from adding two of the same workshop to your cart. That's going to really help a lot of people, I think. So um, really nice. You can't add an item to your cart multiple times like you could before. If you do, for some reason, want to purchase two of a workshop because you're giving one as a gift or you've got two people living in your house who want to take the same workshop in different rooms or something, go ahead and place two separate orders. That's going to allow you to do that, although it was never a problem last time. Once you've added an item to your cart, don't click Previous or Next over here. Come over here and you can click Back to Mount, Mount Dulcimer Level 3 if you want to, or you can just use your browser's Back button and come back to the this area over here and start adding more items to your cart. You can also go back to the portal by clicking back and um, 
you can also <laughs> just come back up to, if you click at anywhere on the site, if you're anywhere on the site, say I'm in here and I want to go back to that portal, if I click this register button up here, it's always going to take me back to that page. Okay, so let's take a look at the all the other instruments and see how those look. If you're looking at taking some, some different instruments this time, we've got so many more options. Uh, we've got ukulele workshops, they're all going to be displayed here. Just keep scrolling, here's our auto harp workshops, keep scrolling, bowed psaltery, claw hammer banjo, dulcibro, guitar, mandolin, penny whistle. You can come through and add any of these, click on them the same way that you would have for the other portal and just add it to your cart and there you go. Um, so that's, a, that's, that's how you're going to add any item to your cart. It's, it's really simple. There's another way to get to the registration portal or to get to any of those pages and I want to talk about it now. Under here in the navigation there are um, there's this all classes and now we can go ahead and scroll down real quickly and see that all of those levels, Hammer Dulcimer level 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all of this stuff is here and, um, sorry I got distracted, <laughs> all of this stuff is, is in here as well. So you don't necessarily have to find these through this link, you can come to this drop down and go to all instruments or any of these other levels here. The other thing that you can do from this area, you can click search. And if you're only looking for one person's workshop, so I just type in Dickinson and, oh my goodness, and um, this is what life is like right now. I can type in Dickinson, I see Jess's bio, and I can scroll past and see all of the workshops that he's offering. So if there's somebody whose workshops you want to take and you, you want to get straight to them, you can use the search function. I don't recommend doing that for every single one of your workshops because it might actually be slower, but maybe it'll be faster for you. Once you're done shopping, there is a little shopping cart up here in the top right of your corner. If you're on a mobile device or something, it might start to kind of get squished into a weird location as you can see how it starts moving around. Um, eventually on a mobile device it will appear in here. I have to click that and then it shows up. Uh, or no, there it is. I don't know what I was talking about. Um, we can click that shopping cart and that's going to get us to checkout. So from checkout we can start correcting and double checking our shopping carts. This is going to be really important for you, okay? Um, doesn't actually look like I've made any mistakes. <laughs> I meant to. How about that for a change? Um, if I had made any mistakes, it would stand out really quickly because I would see something like this where I've got two purple boxes next to each other and I think, oh man, the, I shouldn't have two purple, what, what does that mean? One of them's Friday and one of them's Saturday, so that means that I'm okay, but they could be, you know, if they both said they were Friday, it would stand out like a sore thumb that I had a mistake. Same thing here, I've got orange, I want to make sure that I don't have two orange boxes that both say Friday. I want to make sure that I don't have two green boxes that both say um, Saturday, or you know, so this is a great place that you can double check. If you need to remove something from your item here, or an item from your cart, you can click the little black X here, it's sort of hard to see, and it will remove that item from your cart. So my total went from 90 down to 80. I'm going to go ahead and click checkout. I'm satisfied with my cart. On this next page, I can double check again and I can remove more items from my cart if I want to. So this is another area where I can remove an item from my cart and now there it's gone. Now my total is $70. So here's something, I am already logged in, but you may not be. So if, I, if you're not logged in, this is what your, your uh, shopping cart's going to potentially look like. It'll just look like this. Um, you do not have to log in. If you didn't create an account, don't worry about it. Continue as a guest. Um, if you created an account, hopefully you logged in beforehand and you resolved any password issues you might have had. But um, you can always co continue as a guest. Um, and and go through that whole process. Uh, you may have noticed, let me see if I can go back and sign myself in. Once you're actually checking out, I'm going to show you what uh, 
registering a payment method in advance can do for you. Um, you don't have to do this if you're not comfortable with it. The first thing that we're going to ask you is have you read and understand the important disclosures? Just check that if you have. Um, if you haven't, go ahead and take a look at those. This is required. This next question is only for people who need help with Zoom. If you don't need help with Zoom, you don't have to check this box. If you're pretty confident that you'll be able to figure it out, you don't have to check this box. We're going to have lots of orientation for you, but if you feel like you're going to need a little extra help even before orientation starts, go ahead and check that box and uh, we'll reach out to you. So I'm not going to check it. Um, now we have my payment method is already registered and already entered. I could of course add a new payment method if I wanted to. Um, I can also, we added this now, you can also use PayPal to check out. So I'm not going to check out because it would actually charge me for all of these workshops. I just want to show you one quick thing. Um, if you get to your checkout and this happens and it says the test item is, or I'm sorry, the item is no longer in your cart, it'll tell you which item it is. It'll give you a big red thing. It'll say it's not in your cart. You're going to have to remove that item and then check out. Um, so I don't recommend going back and adding another item. If that item got got sold out while you were while you were doing your thing, um, just check out and then go back and place another order to replace the workshop that you were unable to take. There's going to be um, notifications during the whole checkout pro or the whole shopping process. If an item sold out, it'll say so. If it's low in stock, it will say so. So if an item says that it's low in stock, that might be something that you want to add to your cart and check out right now. I don't recommend doing that for all of the items because it's actually going to slow down your process and you'll wind up taking longer and probably missing out on more than if you had just added them all in one fell swoop and then checked out at once. But if you do see that something's really close to selling out, it might be a good idea to just add that to your cart and try and check out before it sells out. I think that's everything, guys. If you have any questions, please reach out and let us know. Um, I hopefully covered everything, and um, happy ordering once registration opens.